This is lesson 6.6, .6, Modeling Using Sine Functions. Represented here in the graph, we have a mean monthly temperature of some city. And the data is written on this table of values right here. When it's January, it was 28 degrees. February, it had 27 degrees. March, 25.5. April, 22 degrees. May, 18 and a half, and so on. When you graph it out, you sort of notice a pattern, which the pattern went up and down, up and down, up again. It sort of looked like a cosine function or a sine function with a phase shift. This graph shows a period of two years, so you can see that this pattern repeats itself over time. The period is January to December of 12 months, after which it all started again from January and the cycle continues. Therefore, the period is 12, 12 months. So now we have to try to find an algebraic expression using the sine model. So we'll use f of x equals to a times sine b in bracket x plus or minus c in bracket close plus or minus d. Remember that a is the amplitude, b is the period, c is the phase shift left to right, and d is the vertical shift up and down. So we already know that the period is 12, and we learned before that in order to write the b, we have to write out 2 pi divided b by b equals to the period, which is 12. And then we solve for b. So in this case, b will equal to pi over 6. To find the amplitude, that's a, it is the maximum displacement of the graph. So how high does the graph go from the original point? To find out the amplitude, we take the maximum value minus by the minimum value, then divide it by 2. So in this case, it will be 28 minus 15 divided by 2, and we get 6.5. Therefore, the amplitude will be 6.5. The vertical shift up and down will be the principal axis is halfway between the minimum and the maximum. So we have to find the average between the minimum and the maximum. That would be 28 plus 15 divided by 2, giving us 21.5. Next, we look back at the original graph to find the phase shift. And at the point of 21.5, which is where the cycle starts, it had an x value of 10. Therefore, c is 10. That would be the phase shift. So at the end, we have this equation of y equals to 6.5 times sine pi over 6 in bracket x minus 10, bracket close, plus 21.5 is the model of this temperature, where 6.5 is the amplitude, pi over 6 is the period, 10 means going 10 units to the right side. 21.5 means 25.5 units up. So that's the end of this lecture. I thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out the activity video as well as your assignments and upload them for the teacher to mark. And I'll see you guys next time.